Bentley, looks like you found one of Octavio's Vincenetti goons. You on your way to the police station for the old bait and switch? Yeah, he's following me. They're too close for comfort. You gotta move! Now to get those mercenary apes involved. Hey, uh, all you fake cops, go home. Uh, we don't need no more stupid dogs in Venezia. I might not be a real cop, but I've got feelings, pal. Just like You're talking to me, fruitcake? Because I don't need a date. Eat missile, punk. This was a good plan, Bentley. Now we can just sit back and watch the fireworks. Thank you. I pride myself on deviousness these days. With her ape guard under fire, there's a 93% chance that Carmelita will arrive and take out the entire Vincenetti gang. Devious. <laughs> Inspector Fox, I'm glad to see you. This Vincenetti puke is giving me all I can handle. Stand your ground, soldier. We'll take him together. Quality marksmanship. 
I am deep in the trouble. I need backup and I need it now! Mercenaries, you fought with honor and distinction. I'm proud of you. Well, the Octavio's comeback opera recital just a few hours away. We're all set up for the main event. Get ready for Operation Tar Be Gone. Our objective, get Murray back on the team. Sly, you'll start things off by using your disguise to sneak into the opera house. Make your way down to the pump room and let me in through the side entrance. Thanks to the blueprints we stole, I now know just where to bomb to cripple the machinery. Then we'll go for Octavio's detonation switch. I'm sure you'd agree that we just can't leave a weapon that powerful in the hands of such a bad man. So I'll distract the old mobster with an opera duel. He's sure not to attack while we're both on stage. Meanwhile, you'll cut the lines to the chandelier and drop it on his head. I'll swipe the switch and we'll both find Murray. By then, the black water is sure to be running clear, and he'll be free to come with us.
in just a few minutes. We did a good job taking out the advertising. No one's shown up to listen. No audience means no demolition demonstration. True, but to finish the job, we'll need to take out the bay tar vacuum. Use your disguise to gain entry to the opera house. Then head down to the pump room and let me in through the side door. No problem, signore. <laughs> Hey, you! Ferris wheel password, quickly! Got it, here it is. Soprano, alto, alto, soprano. Okay. You there! 
What's Octavio's house password? As I expected. Here you go. Tenor soprano, tenor soprano. Sorry about that. Don't be long inside. The boss's opera recital is about to start. Stay in disguise here, or the operation's a bust. Halt! What's the carnival password? Sending password now. Tenor bass, tenor, tenor. Yep. This recital is gonna be a drag. Between you and me, I hate opera. Oh, you again. Hey, you! Tell me the daytime password. Kid stuff. Here it is. Alto, alto, bass, bass. Okay. The boss has been practicing for months for this day. He sings great. Excuse me. You there. Ferris wheel password. Quickly. Uh, yep. Yeah, here it is. Soprano, alto, alto, soprano. Sorry about that. Halt! Watch the midnight password. Here's the password slide. Alto bass, alto, alto. Okay. Hello, sir. Hey, you! Give me the cafe password. Easy one. Here you go. Bass, 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 soprano? Yep. Drat! A double button door! I, I'll think of something. Just give me time. I don't recognize you. What's the secret soprano password? Transmitting password. Tenor bass, tenor, tenor. Okay. Pass a word to the rest of the guys that under no circumstances am I to be disturbed during my big comeback recital. Yes, sir. I'm certainly looking forward to the performance. Once I'm done in the pump room, I'll be headed out to the stage. Um, if it isn't too much trouble, would you help me with this double button security door? But of course, for a fellow musical lover, it would be a pleasure. On a three. One, two, three. Be quick in there, you won't want to miss out. <laughs> Over here! Nice to see you, pal. Okay, we need to act quickly while the recital is getting underway. You ready with the bombs? Once I've destroyed all six tar pipes, the vacuum should start to lose suction. Look, if those bombs attract any guards, let me do the fighting. You just focus on taking out the tar pipes. We need to stay on schedule. <laughs> Up. Might take some more bombs. We've got company. Just stay on those tar pipes. This could get hairy. Thank <laughs> you. 
Is there still time to catch Octavio's recital? We're right on schedule. If my calculations are correct, he should be about to perform an aria originally written as a duet. That's when we strike. Think he'll really let you on stage with him? Of course, he's a musician. He'll be overjoyed to have a lyrical counterpoint. Just be ready to drop the chandelier when I've lured him underneath. Mr. Tomato Fertilizer. You got a death wish. I couldn't resist showing you up at what you treasure most. Opera singing. You're a vocalist. Fine. A duet is coming up. We'll sing it first, and then I'll gut you. Bring it on, Grandpa. I'll sing you under the table. switch I never ever freeze I'll drive you shoot I need immediate pickup criminals are headed east all units converge Roger sorry Cooper this time I've got you surrounded This is it. Shoot out his engine and we'll have him. The canal is full of cops. We're in big trouble here.
Carmelita. What a sweet talker. All right, Mike. Double back. Open fire on the rim. Sudden stop. No! More to the left, you idiot! We are gonna crash! It's over, Octavio. You're beat. Give us the demolition switch and we'll all try to ditch these cops. You chasing me for this? Fine, the big shot. Took me six months to prepare this thing. But what the hey? I got more where this came from. You guys see that boat go out of control and jump and smash into that thing? Destruction! So cool! You think that was a cool punk? <laughs> <laughs> you monster! Stop it! Stop it! Murray, I need your help. I've never seen someone move that fast. Octavio's old, but he's still got it. Let's take him together. But... But I vowed to my guru that I'd renounce all violence. And the water is still black. It'll be clear any minute. Trust me. Now, let's take him. You're right to be scared, Hippo. Your wheelchair friend should have been so smart. Murray! Help! That does it! I'll floss my teeth with your spine! <laughs> the Murray returns! He's too fast. Lure him into the tar pool. That should slow him down. The valve's empty. I'll crack another. Car's ready to flow. Moving to the next tar valve. All set with the tar. I'll unlock the next one. I'm ready. Lure him in. Murray, the 
These pumps are out of tar. I saw some more valves over by the cop station. Follow me to a fresh supply. <laughs> Without the tar, I'll crush you boys like a box! <laughs> Too fast. Lure him into the tar pool. That should slow him down. This one's out. I'm moving to another valve. Ready with the tar. This tar valve's dry. I'll open another. Hang tight. Draw him in. I'll let loose with the tar. Murray, these pumps are out of tar. I saw some more valves over by the cop station. Follow me to a fresh supply. <laughs> Without the tar, I'll crush you boys like a box! <laughs> no longer. Listen to the song of your death. The Murray knows no song but the triumphant horn section of his own triumph. We're talking, a stupid kid, and I... Valve's empty. I'll crack another. I'm ready. Lure him in. Tar valve's dry. I'll open another. Hang tight. Right. 
all set with the tar. This one's out. I'm moving to another valve. Draw him in. I'll let loose with the tar. Too fast. Lure him into the tar pool. That should slow him down. I'm moving to another valve. All set with the tar. Valve's empty. I'll crack another. I'm ready. Lure him in. These pumps are out of tar. I saw some more valves over by the cop station. Follow me to a fresh supply. <laughs> Without the tar, I'll crush you boys like a bug! But I'm not holding back no longer. Listen to the song of your death. The Murray knows no song, but the triumphant horn section of his own triumph. Quit talking, a stupid kid, and die. Dry. I'll unlock the next one. The tar's ready to flow. Moving to the next tar valve. Ready with the tar. 
Out. I'm moving to another valve. Draw him in. I'll let loose with the tar. So that's it. The old guard's out, and a new generation steps in. That's right! Step it in! Big time! Come on, Murray. I got the demolition switch. Let's get Bentley and run for it. We got cops closing in. With the fight over, we went back and scraped Bentley off the pavement. It was touch and go for a while there, but we managed to sneak out right under Carmelita's nose. Octavio wasn't so lucky. The guy got 30 years behind bars for what he did to Venice. I guess Italians don't like it when you sink their landmarks. Ironically, he found success as a singer while in jail. After all, most of his old fan base was already in the clink. But the big score here was bringing our old pal back into the gang. Once he put on those gloves and that mask, it was clear to everyone, most of all him, that the Murrays had returned. At first, it seemed just like old times. The gang was back in action. But little by little, we learned that Murray's heart just wasn't in it. Without the guru's permission to give up on his dreamtime training, he'd never really feel comfortable returning to the gang. 
we knew we needed to help him out. So we packed up our things, whipped up some quick disguises, and headed for the Australian Outback. Along the way, Murray told us story after story about his teacher's amazing abilities. Apparently, this guru of his was capable of fantastic feats. He used the dream time to blend perfectly into his surroundings and even gain mental control over the weak-minded. If even half the stories were true, then this was a guy I just had to meet. Our gang needed to grow its ranks for a chance to get inside the Cooper vault. And this guru, this outback mystic, was looking like the best recruit we could have ever asked for. However, when we finally arrived in the outback, it was a shock to find that things had changed. And the guru was nowhere to be seen. on your power moves. The first one is throwing stuff. Pluck it and chuck it. That's me. To pick something up, just get close and hit the circle button. To throw, just face your target and press the square button. Circle, square, ain't hardly fair. Looks like I've got plenty of rocks to throw with. Try breaking all those pillars. Can do. also pick up guards when they're knocked out. Great! I knocked the small guys out with one punch! You might have to be a little more subtle with the big flashlight guards. They're pretty tough. Sneak up behind this guy and sucker punch him while he's not looking. Then pick him up and throw him at the pillar. Gotcha! Sneak up, sucker punch, grab, throw, destroy, kid stuff. Let's see what you got. guards is to throw something at them. Ah, the old rock to the head routine. Yep, throw a rock at that guard to knock him out, then pick him up and throw him at that pillar. Can do, little brother. Grab him while he's out. Well done. Okay, what's different about this next guy? He's got a ton of cash in his back pocket. Chump, he's just asking, begging me to rob him. That's right. You may not have the agility or technology to pick his pocket, but you could use your strength to bug him quite thoroughly. Oh, yeah. I just knock him flat, then pick him up. Once you've got him above your head, press the circle button to shake loose any coins he has and collect the goods. Keep at it until he's empty. The Murray will give this high roller a shakedown he'll never forget. Clear. 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 
Okay, okay, let me see if I've got it. Hit them with my triangle button uppercut, then yank them out of the air by pressing the circle button. That right? You got it. For this test, you'll have to pull it off three times and throw the guards at that pillar over there. Don't waste your time trying to fight them. Just focus on the technique. Bring on the pain. looking for opals. Watch your step, they're sure to get rough defending their claim. problem, pal. I'm looking forward to meeting him. Anybody you call Master must be a heck of a guy. Oh, he's awesome! He'll get inside your head and freak you out six ways from Sunday. Uh, awesome.
Sorry, pal. This cave's empty. Got any other ideas where he might be? Well, that's his hut. But he doesn't really hang out there on account of the smell. The smell? It's a long story. I had to apologize up and down for like a month before he'd speak to me again. What did you do? The unspeakable sly. The unspeakable. Well, thanks for speaking of it. I'm headed for the hut. <laughs> Sorry, Murray. Nobody's home. And by the looks of it, I'd say the guru is finding someone or something off here. I'm starting to think the miners might have got to him. You might be right. They'd come in and be all angry and yelling and he'd be all peaceful and they'd just get ticked. Then he'd try to find a middle way and they'd just go crazy and smash everything up and then haul him off. Where do you think they might have taken him? They got him! My master's a goner! Maybe we should get Bentley on the line. It's tough to say, but given the layout of the miners' camp, I'd venture a guess that they use that area with a high fence as a makeshift stockade. Hmm. Looks like there might be a way up using that cliff below. Shouldn't be a problem. Just keep an eye out for that gyrocopter. I'm positive it's what gave away the guru's position. Good tip. Thanks, pal. <laughs> must be the guru. I'm a good friend of Murray's. He's come asking to be released from his training. Sure, I'll just bust you out of here and we'll go talk to him. Hi, how are you? You seriously won't leave without your gear? 
Hata Jopa, Hata Fing Ting, Hata Ja. Yeah, I can see that the miners have really done a number on your land here. As for your walking staff and moonstone, me and my gang have a real talent for stealing back things that were wrongfully taken. Ah, did I fool? Hi, hi. Hey, Sarajo. He also insists that we purify Ayer's Rock of all miners. Only then will the Dreamtime spirits be appeased, and the Guru will be free to use his powers. Sly must have impressed him in their conversation, because now he is requesting that Murray and I meet with him individually. Something about judging our spiritual centers. I've discovered a passage through one of the miners' caves that should make getting up to the Guru less difficult. He also mentioned that the miners had foolishly unearthed the mask of dark earth. I guess it was his job to guard the thing, and now that it's out, bad things are sure to follow. Sounds like mumbo jumbo to me, but we've encountered some unexplainable phenomena over the years, so I'm not gonna rule it out as a threat to our operation.